Hi, this is Darren Tweeten. I'm just uh, going to show you quickly how you can use the WordPress.com app on a tablet. So I'm going to open it up right here. Give it a second to load. And I've already got it set up to uh, open uh, my site. Uh, you can actually have multiple sites uh, with it if you want. So uh, up at the top left, we've got this thing called stats. And so if you uh, tap on the insights tab, you can see a lot of stuff. You know, there's nothing really fantastic, but you can kind of see, um, yeah, you can see a lot of things. You can see where uh, stuff got published and whatnot. And then you can view, uh, view your statistics by day, week, months, uh, even years. Uh, nothing happening for this year yet just because the year just started um, and so that's the uh, statistics I wanted to hit um, I had never used that before so I didn't know what it did so the next thing down underneath stats is view site and that basically allows you to view the site so there it is nothing really spectacular um, and then underneath that, you can go to the WP uh, admin uh, to your dashboard if you ever want to. And um, that's kind of a handy feature if you need to go in and make some changes. So underneath that section, you've got this section called blog posts. So I'm going to tap on that. And right now, what we're seeing is everything that has been published so far. So I just published this one about uh, secrets for creating websites. And I can tap to see what it looks like and scroll down. And if I needed to make any changes, I could tap the edit button and it would allow me to make changes. Uh, then I could tap on the update button, which I'm not going to. Or if I needed to make uh, do something else, I could like... Uh, change the categories or the tags I could do that here if I wanted to change the um, post format or the featured image I could do that right here you know there's nothing really impressive about this but this this is handy if you ever discover that you need to make some quick changes to a page like you know you've got the right pri uh, wrong price down or something like that or you misspelled something you can do that all from this app and then hit the update button. Now, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go back and then it's going to say you have discarded changes. So I'm going to hit discard and then there we go. And then I can go, go back there. Uh, the other cool thing is that this can allow me to see... Um, oh, I can, I can actually uh, look at statistics for this particular post. You know, there's nothing really impressive. It's, it's gotten like two views, I think. Um, th this one I didn't really publicize because I had actually published it on LinkedIn before then uh, silently publishing it on my own site. Um, but I can take I can uh, take a look at any drafts that I have. I don't have any. But what's cool is that I can look at my scheduled posts. So here I've got one that's uh, going to come out in a couple of days. Probably uh, by the time you watch this, it will already be published. And uh, you can see that it's scheduled to publish a, a day from now. So that's kind of that's kind of cool. Um, underneath blog posts on the left is pages. And it says I don't have any scheduled pages. Um, but if I go to the published pages, I can see... Uh, see what I've got. So I, I want to show you what uh, sometimes happen if you're using any short codes or, or plugins like I'm using the, the Divi uh, page builder tool for some of these pages. So for example on this resources page there's a lot of uh, short code junk here. Um, but if I needed to make some changes, I could do it right here. So these, these are basically the links that I've got. I've got a number of links to some free uh, photography and, and so forth. 
Um, there's some other things you can do. You can change some of the settings, not a whole lot. Um, you know, you can do the site tap, the site title, tagline, address. I wouldn't change the address from here uh, just because you could uh, mess some, something up. More than likely, you're going to want to hit the uh, WP Admin uh, button to, to actually do that. So one thing I do want to show you, uh, the, the very last thing, is I'm going to go to blog post and show that you can uh, create a new post from here if you wanted to. Um, uh, new post and blah, blah. And uh, you can do things like uh, insert images. Um, you can bold, italicize, uh, strike through text. You can include links. Um, so, for example, I've got i got my site open over here. If I go back to you know, that, didn't work. Hold on. Copy. Okay, there it goes. Now it now it auto filled it, so it automatically filled in that that link. Um, you could put in block quotes if you wanted to, um, and then if you uh, if you needed to, you can oops, you can look at the you can look at the code that makes it up. So. If you uh, tap the little code icon, you can see the HTML code. That's actually uh, it's it's basically the same thing as in the WordPress editor. If you go to the uh, text only um, mode instead of the view mode, I think that's what you call it. I, I don't have it memorized. Um, another neat thing about this app is that it will allow you to share uh, from other apps and you can actually uh, you can have something open in notes or Evernote and share it to the wordpress.com app and then it will create a post that actually it does a pretty good job at um, I personally don't use this editor that much. I, I, at least not for writing new things. Normally I write everything in notes and then either publish, uh, not publish, uh, I either share it uh, using uh, the, the iOS share uh, function. I just share it to, um, I'm trying to remember what this thing's called. I, I just share it to this app um, instead of uh, copying and pasting, and it does a does a pretty good job. I've been doing that for a couple of months, and uh, seems to work pretty well. Um, j just to let you know that, um, say, if you were creating this post and you wanted to add a featured image, if you tap on the um, buttons on the top right side and hit options. You can then set the featured image, and then what it will do is it will pull up your um, your photos. And actually, I went a little too fast there. Let me let me change let me change this. Let me remove it. Okay, let, let's do this one more time. Notice how it. Um, I've got a got a picture here. In fact, I'll show you a really ugly thing. Yeah, there you, there I am. Okay, so let's let's end like I wanted to take a picture of me. <laughs> yeah. So there's a lot of there's a lot of neat stuff you can do with that, um, but um, it is limited. It's not as good as the app that you can download 
uh, from WordPress.com to uh, your uh, to your Mac or, or PC. But what it does allow you to do, the, the nice thing about it is that you can make some uh, quick changes on the fly. Like there was one time I discovered an error when I was in line to see a concert and I was able to actually make the changes um, straight from this app. And uh, the phone app actually works uh, very similarly. I'll probably make another video for that. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, you can go to AaronTweeton.com. And uh, look forward to hearing from you.